Rampant credit and debit card use has reached a tipping point and left many in the service industry grumbling about gratuities. Enter Dipjar, an electronic alternative to the tip jar. We designed it to be as simple as possible, so it's just like dropping a dollar bill into a cash tip jar. You dip it into the dip jar, it's a one-step process, and you leave a dollar tip for your favorite employees. With only three devices in the city so far, most people don't notice the dip jar between two registers at Oren's Daily Roast on Broadway. There's so many people standing there that I didn't even see it. Many still opt to tip in cash or not at all. If I'm spending a small amount, I prefer to leave a tip in cash. If I'm spending $100, I'm okay leaving it on a card. I usually try not to use my credit card if I don't need to. I think that tipping is becoming out of control now that people uh, expect tips for anything. Sometimes I don't always have cash on hand and, you know, they're always really nice here. I guess that's why I tip them. So far, employees have only noticed a few extra dollars in every couple weeks. More people don't want to carry cash for a lot of reasons. So this is this is the way you can include people and they don't have to feel like, oh, you know, I don't want so-and-so to think I'm cheap, but, you know, I don't have any cash. So this way, every, everybody's covered. How does Dipjar make money? Ultimately, we'll be taking a small payment from the employees uh, for collecting and dispersing all of this money. Then. Soon, Scrooges will have no reason not to tip. In Midtown Manhattan, for the New York Post, I'm Amber Sutherland.